Hi, this is Rich Harrington with an original video for tipsquirrel.com. And what I'd like to do is show you a few options inside the Camera Raw dialog box for enhancing your images. I have a photo here, nice shallow depth of field, shot on my Nikon D300S a couple years back. What I'd like to do is add a bit of drama. All right, let's start with Raw and then we'll jump out to a few features in Photoshop that can help. First off, I'm a big fan of clicking Auto to let it analyze the image. And that did some good, but a little more harm in this case. I'm happy with the exposure it came up, and I like how I go ahead and boosted the contrast a bit, but let's start to recover some of those blown out highlights and pull those in. And then conversely, let's start to bring those blacks up and add some drama in. Now that's starting to look good. I really like how the background is blooming and the soft focus back there. Let's put some clarity in to bring out the details in the image, however, some selective contrast. What I want to look for is how this flower is holding up. That's doing pretty good there with general clarity. I'll put a little more contrast in, and then I want to switch on over to the Details tab and start to sharpen that. That's looking a lot better. Before and after, you can see we're really getting some of those details to come out. Now. A little bit of noise has been introduced here, so I'm going to go ahead and knock down the luminance noise to clean that up and lower the detail threshold a bit so some of that background falls off. That's looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and choose Fit in View again. Have a quick look at the image. Pretty happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and crop that out and use that overlay there to place my crop. Looks good. Hit return to apply it, and I'd like to stylize this a bit using the post crop vignette. I'm going to go ahead and crank that in and play with the midpoint so it finds the correct edge and adjust the highlights so they bloom a little, further feather that out. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to bring that into Photoshop and start to do a little bit of additional processing. With that open, I'm going to first add a general curve and take the on image tool and start to pull. I'm going to bring these blacks down just a little bit and bring up the highlights. That's working well. Gentle S curve. Go on in and toss on a black and white adjustment. And using the similar on image tool, I'm going to customize that conversion. Going first after that bright yellow flower then using the other controls in the background to really find the right balance. Notice as you click on each item, the correct color is selected so we can tweak the conversion. Now you gotta be careful not to go too far. But that's looking pretty good there. I want it pretty dramatic because I'm actually gonna blend it in. Trying overlay, soft light, and some of those modes to see which ones pop nicely or going with some of the lighter ones with screen. I think soft light's the winner. A little bit of punch and drama, and we're just gonna back that off a tad. All right, I'm happy with where this is going. I just wanna finish this out. I'm gonna choose Select All, and then Copy Merged, and paste a copy on top so I have a flattened image. We'll go ahead then and jump on into the Stylize filter, and I'm gonna go with Find Edges. Now this is pretty dramatic and it's going to go through and look for those edges in the image and pick up the main details. I'll then strip the color out with shift command or shift control U to desaturate it and then play with the levels of that top image. There we go. Looks pretty good. Play with the overall middle balance and then blend that in. With the Move tool selected, I could choose Shift Plus to step through my blending modes. It's looking pretty good there, some of those options. I like that, a little bit of a painterly look. I want to go ahead and selectively back this off though, so let's turn that off for a second. Grab the Quick Selection tool and just quickly trace the flower. Notice how Photoshop does a great job of detecting edges automatically with that tool. Just about have it. And I'll click Refine Edge. Turn on my Smart Radius and tweak it a bit. 
and take a look at that over white for a second. Now, that's looking pretty good. I could paint with my brush to refine the edge a little bit further. Let it analyze the image, tweak the radius, and I'm just going to feather that out for a nice gradual transition. Looking pretty good. And all I want is a transition between what's selected and not selected. That looks great, so I'll click OK. And with an active selection, I'm going to turn that texture layer back on and apply a layer mask. That looks great. It isolated the texture to the front. Reload the selection and choose Select Inverse. And on the outside here, I want to go ahead and fill it with a little bit of color. Choosing Edit Fill, we're going to drop that in and use 50% gray. That's going to create partial transparency in the mask. And if that's too strong, we can always choose Fade and back off between the two values. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's deselect that. And you see that that texture overlay did a nice job of making this look a little bit more like an illustration. Back that off a tad with opacity. Looks great and I am finished with my image. Added a little bit of drama and made it look a lot more like an illustration.